Hey guys, Bob here. Today we're going to learn how to make these beef short ribs. Uh, these are aged. Nice marbleization on them. That's what you're looking for. And these have the bone in them. Um, we're going to make these with six ingredients. There isn't that much to do. Um, you can do this two ways. You can do this in a cast iron kettle uh, and put it in the oven and put them on low and slow or the version I like to do is in the crock pot. It works the same way and it's a lot less muss and fuss. Um, we're going to serve these with uh, red mashed potatoes and a vegetable. So I will show you our list of ingredients and I'll show you step by step how to do this in the crock pot. So come on, let's get started. Alright, so what we have here guys is six short ribs, like I said, they're well marbled, that's what you are looking for. You can trim these, I don't, and one that it gives it better flavor and better caramelization and it will render down anyway. Uh, chop onions, mushrooms, uh, chicken stock, tomatoes, pepper, and ranch dressing. And you're wondering why the ranch dressing. I will explain that to you as we go. So what we're going to do is um, cook these off in a cast iron frying pan and put them into our crock pot. Alright, as you can see, this is cracked pepper. So like I said, we're going to sear these on all sides and put them in our crock pot. Alright guys, as you can see, these are pretty well seared. So we're going to take them out, we're going to put them on a plate, and we'll let them rest for a few minutes, and I'll show you how to do the rest of the ingredients. Alright, our next step is our onions, then our mushrooms, then our tomatoes, and then we will uh, add our chicken stock. We will scrape everything off the bottom. We're going to put the beef short ribs into the crock pot with this mixture. We're going to add two tablespoons of ranch dressing. Now, you're probably wondering why the ranch dressing. Well, because it tastes good. It gives it a better flavor. Um, anyway, when we get to do the sauce, which I'll show you how to do the sauce for these, um, that ranch dressing is going to give that sauce so much more flavor than just the onions and the mushrooms and the tomatoes. So there you go guys. All you're looking to do is sweat the uh, onions, put some color on the mushrooms, get them down, get your tomatoes in. Um, like I said, the last step we're going to add the uh, chicken broth which is about a half a cup and what we're going to do is just scrape all that goodness off the bottom they call the fond me it's just the bits and then we're going to put the ribs into the crock pot and we're going to put all of this on top of it all right guys there is our mixture we are going to let this boil a little bit make sure you have a metal spoon and scrape all of those bits fond whatever you want to call them off the bottom of this because that adds more flavor so you can let it go for a minute or so and turn it off and then we'll put it all in the crock pot and I'll show you what it looks like when it's in the crock pot when I tell you about scraping the bottom of the pan this is cast iron but there as you notice there is no all of it's going all of that flavor has gone into that mixture and into the crock pot Okay, this is what you should have. Um, there's your beef, ribs, and all your mixture. You're going to add two tablespoons of ranch. Uh, in the crock pot, on high for the first two hours, low for the, the next two hours. Shouldn't take no more, about four hours. So we will check this in about four hours, and I'll show you if it is done. And like I said, we are serving this with uh, red mashed potatoes. But you could serve this with couscous, uh, whatever your favorite thing is. 
Okay guys, there is your beef short ribs. It's actually falling off the bones. Um, all the mushrooms, all the onions, tomatoes has cooked down and made a nice au jus. Um, guys, two ways you can do this. You can just use the au jus out of the crock pot or you can drain it. Um, add two tablespoons of flour to it because again, you don't want gravy, you want au jus. So anyway, there you go. So if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and we will see you in the next cooking vlog. And Big Joe, those are on me.